Hey guys, Mr. Myers is here, and in this video I'd like to talk to you about doing a linear regression t-test in the TI Inspire and just how we're going to go about doing that, what we need to do, and just kind of the steps to get our information. So by this time we've already kind of done, looked at another video on how to read a t-test for a linear regression. This time I'm going to look at actually how do we get the, that information that we need from the TI Inspire. So. The first thing we need to do is we need to start from our home screen, we need to start a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new document. And what I'm going to do is add a list and spreadsheet. So what I want to do is I want to put in my data in my list and spreadsheet. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter in some data for height and wingspan. And we'll just go ahead and go down this list and I'll go ahead and finish that off and then come right back. All right, once we have our data in, um, we're going to take these data and we're going to plot these in a scatter plot. We need to see the scatter plot. So in order to do that, we're going to add a new page. We're going to hit Control Doc, which adds a page here. And we're going to add a data and statistics page. We got all these dots here. We're going to click our variable. And in this case, we're going to, uh, we're going to determine our height based on our wingspan. So we're going to hit wingspan for our X and height for our Y. And we've got a pretty straight um, straight scatter plot here so we can see that we have straight enough our condition for that passes. We're going to need the linear regression. So we're going to go ahead and hit menu, analyze, regression, linear, A plus BX. And we get our linear regression. Now this is kind of a big, like this is a lot of decimals, right? So if I wanted to get those decimals to be smaller, I hit dock, settings and status document settings and we'll just take this down to three decimal places here so we're going to change float three all right so we've got negative 8.68 plus 1.12x so this is our linear regression now that we've done our linear regression we can see we're going to need a plot of the residuals to see if this regression is appropriate so we're going to hit menu and we're going to hit plot we're going to hit sorry we're going to hit analyze residuals and then we want to see the residual plot. Show residual plot, and it'll come down right underneath. And this is a good residual plot. No, no clear pattern. There's quite scatter, so we've got a appropriate linear model. Now, we see that there's no fanning out. All those things for our conditions are okay. We need one more thing for our conditions, though, and that is a plot, a histogram of the residuals to see if those residuals are unimodal and symmetric. So I'm going to go and control doc another page another data and statistics page okay because I need a new graph here now down here in my variable down here I'm gonna click to add a variable and I'm gonna go stat resid these are my residuals okay so I'm gonna hit stat resid and I'm gonna get the dot plot of the residuals and if I wanted to I can change this into um, you know I can change it into a box plot which that looks fairly symmetric I mean I've got a little you know I've got one maybe little outlier here um, but it's fairly symmetric or I can take a look at the histogram I might want to um, I might want to change these bin settings and you see here it's not quite unimodal and symmetric um, I think if I change the bin settings I'd get a, a better picture but regardless of that you need to this is how you find the um, the histogram of your residuals okay so, so that's for the last condition in the um, in your t-test so now we actually have to run the t-test so we get our information our p-value our t-value and, and degrees of freedom and all those things that we have so we're gonna go ahead and go back you could do this in two places you can go back to 1.1 which is your spreadsheet this is where I recommend you doing it or you can do it in a regular calculator uh, a calculator tab but I'll go and do it in here because I, I think it's just better to do it in the spreadsheet so go in and click um, see here and you hit menu and you hit statistics and we want a stat test and what kind of test are we doing we're doing a linear regression t-test so we're gonna hit a right here linear reg t-test our X list remember our X is we're going to have wingspan and our response variable is going to be height in this case we're gonna go ahead and save it to uh, function one if we wanted to, you know, graph this. So we're gonna go ahead and have our alternate hypothesis. Now we're always gonna just leave it at not equal for now. 
Um, I'm not quite sure when we need to use greater than or less than, so we're just going to go and leave it at not equal to. And we hit our, we hit enter, and we've get we've gotten all our stuff for our linear regression t-test. We've got our alternative hypothesis. We've got our function. There's our t-value right there, 17.6. Our p-value is very small, 1.1 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis in this case. There is an association. We've got five degrees of freedom, and it also gives you a b. It'll give you r squared and r. We see a nice correlation. It gives you all the residuals. So. You get everything that you need here for your linear regression t-test and to make um, your decisions based on that. So there you go, guys. This is the linear regression t-test on the TI Inspire. See you later.